Hi, this is Captain Marty Mead with North Shore Charters and the beautiful San Juan Islands of Washington State, uh, specifically from Orcas Island. We specialize in salmon and halibut fishing, and we offer year-round services. We've been in business for over 15 years in the San Juan Islands and have over 30 years' experience doing what we do. Uh, North Shore Charters caters to both beginners and pro anglers, as well as families with small kids. Uh, we realize that there's a wide range of fishing techniques, so we try to make our trips as educational of an experience as possible for, for all types of fishermen. Uh, kind of a motto that we like to use is we don't just take you fishing, we teach you to fish. Um, so having said that, I'm going to go through and give, give a brief, brief overview of the seasons and then talk about other services that North Shore Charters offers and try and touch on some of our most frequently asked questions. Uh, we have trips leaving from our home port of Deer Harbor Marina and Rosario Resort on Orcas Island. Um, also Friday Harbor or Roche Harbor on San Juan Island and from Fisherman's Bay on Lopez Island. We also offer wildlife tours and we're the only company offering day trips to Canadian destinations such as Victoria, BC, Sydney, uh, Vancouver, or anywhere in the Canadian Gulf Islands. We also offer multi-day and family adventure trips that allow you to combine any of the services that we offer to suit whatever your vacation goals may be. For example, if you're visiting the San Juan Islands and you want to do a, a whale watching tour, you want to go fishing, uh, possibly do a tour to visit the Outer Island State Parks and go to uh, Victoria for, for a day trip, you can combine any of those. Uh, do it, you know, do a salmon fishing trip combined with a uh, outer island tour all in the same day, or do a day trip to Victoria combined with a whale watching tour on the way back. We can stop and and, and we can go look for the whales. That's usually a really good way to do it because probably 70% of the time on the way to Victoria or on the way to Canada we run across the pot of killer whales. Uh, as far as the fishing goes, I'm going to start with a brief overview of the fishing seasons here in the San Juan Islands, uh, which is called Marine Area 7 in Washington State. The 1st of December, starting with the Friday Harbor Resurrection, Resurrection Salmon Derby, starts the winter Chinook season, which is which we call blackmouth salmon. Um, San Juan off, Islands offer an excellent blackmouth fishery, and it's probably the most popular fishery with the locals. Unfortunately, in the wintertime, uh, the weather is not that good, so we don't see a lot of tourists coming up here looking to fish for the blackmouth. Then uh, that goes throughout the uh, first of the first uh, part of the year. Then May 1st opens Pacific halibut and lingcod. Um, halibut run through the end of May. Typically, the way the state operates the, the halibut fishery is that you're only allowed to fish for halibut on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So seasonally runs for a month, so you only get a total of 12 days to fish for halibut here in Marine Area 7, the San Juan Islands of Washington State. So being a really st short season, the halibut days really get they get booked up really fast. So if you're considering that, my recommendation would be to to call up or email them and um, and get that booked. Um, it, the, the the really cool thing about the halibut is they've been coming in really strong in recent years. Uh, for the last 10 years, um, we've progressively been seeing more and more halibut caught here in the in the San Juan Islands, uh, so they're making a good comeback. And uh, so coinciding with the halibut fishing season is ling cod. Ling cod opens up May 1st and goes through the 15th of June, and we're allowed to fish for that every day of the week. So, um, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is halibut. Thursday, Friday, or I mean, there's link cod, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday is halibut. On a halibut day, we can fish for both. We can fish for halibut and link cod, which is what we do oftentimes. We'll, we'll target halibut uh, during the first part of the day, and then on the way back in, we'll stop and, and try and uh, catch some link cod. And as well, during that season, the state opens up random days uh, throughout the fishing season for uh, spot prawning, which we have the, the jumbo tiger and spot prawns here in the San Juan Islands. So uh, a day that the prawning's open, we might go out and drop our prawn pots and then fish locally for 
Lane Cod and then come back and check our prawn pots and hope for a, a big bounty. Um, so then when we moved beyond that, um, well, the end of June, so, so Lane Cod closes the end of June or the 15th of June and into the last two weeks of June, there's no um, big game fish available, but there, there are um, other various species of bottom fish that are available, which uh, can be really fun a really fun fishery, especially for kids or uh, families coming up that want to go out and have a little bit of fun on the water. Uh, rock, all species the, all species of rockfish um, are closed. They were closed a few years ago due to uh, the decline in numbers, so we're not al allowed to target ro or retain rockfish ever. Um, but there are other species such as uh, greenling and cabazon, which are really fun fish and very very tasty to eat. Okay, so then on July 1st, uh, most other species of salmon open up in the San Juan Islands. Uh, Chinook or king salmon, um, uh, pink salmon, also known as humpies, uh, the red salmon, which are, are sockeye salmon, and silvers, which are also known as coho salmon. And, uh, and then usually mid-July, Dungeness crabbing is also available, and that those trips are to, you know, drop the crab pots is available, as an option on any of our fishing trips as we go out and just um, let me know and, and we can do that. The catch limits and regulations vary from uh, season to season and from species to species. So it can be a little bit complicated. Um, we pay really close attention to that. So we, we are, uh, you know, we, we have that information, but if you're coming up here and, interested in that, then I recommend getting a, a copy of the Washington State Fishing Regulations for reference, um, and that'll tell you everything you need to know, or you can find it on my website, which is orcasislandadventures.com. The fishing in the San Juan Islands Marine Area 7 goes December, Blackmouth, May, Howl at Lane Cod, uh, July, King, uh, King, Sockeye, and Coho, and Humpies are also the 1st of July, and um, uh, the pink salmon, we have, we have we have two runs that come through, and they alternate each other. The pink salmon, which is the humpies, or the red salmon, which are the sockeye. The pink salmon um, are an odd year fish, which, uh, say, 2011, the majority of fish running through the San Juan Islands in the midsummer were the pink salmon, and then even years is the sockeye salmon. So 2012 will be a sockeye salmon uh, year. I think this is probably the only place that it actually happens that way. And then uh, halibut season also is open on the Canadian side of the border starting in the early part of the year and running through the fall. Uh, we offer halibut fishing trips to, to British Columbia waters during these times, and uh, licenses are available either online on the Department of Fish and Wildlife website, uh, BC Department of Fish and Wildlife, or through orcasislandadventures.com. Uh, a passport is not required to go fishing for halibut in Canada as long as we're not anchoring or contacting other vessels or going ashore. Um, however, anchoring is typically the best way to fish for halibut. So if you do have a passport, that, that might, might pay off. But it's, again, it's not required. Um, and so the things that you'll need, if you want to go fishing with, with uh, North Shore charters, is you'll need a, your valid fishing license and a sal salmon halibut or Dungeness crab catch card, if that's what we're going to fish for. Uh, you can get that online uh, through the Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife, or you can get it through any local sporting goods store, any Washington State sporting goods store. Um, there's a couple en route. If you're coming to the San Juan Islands, if you're driving and you're not too late for the ferry, you can stop in Burlington at the Holiday Market, which is immediately on the left off of Highway 20, uh, just as you exit I-5 on the way to uh, catch the ferry out to the San Juans. Or if you're already out in the San Juans or you don't want to hassle with that, you can uh, stop at the sporting goods stores on your respective island. So San Juan Island, there's King's Sporting Goods, which um, you get your license. On Orcas Island, there's uh, East Sound Sports, um, which is right downtown East Sound. And on Lopez Island, there's Island Marine Center. Uh, which is right on the waterfront when you get to Lopez. Uh, so, and the best times to fish 
in the San Juans, it's really heavily based on the tides. Uh, the best the best tides are usually uh, flood tides, and we try to do early morning trips. My, I, I really like to have lions in the water about 30 minutes before daylight for morning trips, and then uh, afternoon trips are afternoon trips are really uh, what we we'll take a look at what the tides are doing. But just usually if we're out uh, and we fish right up until sunset, usually uh, we can take six people on the boat per trip. And the prices vary on how many people that we're taking out and what we're fishing for. And those the prices can be found on uh, orcasislandadventures.com slash rate. I, we, we will uh, process and bag your catch for you, however you would like to have it done, uh, whether you want it filleted, staked, or um, um, we, we, don't, we, we, we don't have the means to freeze it for you, though. So depending on where you're staying, if you're staying at a local hotel or resort, they might have the means to freeze it. A lot of times they do, and then we do have shipping services here on each island, FedEx or UPS, that you can use to, to send it out. Um, North Shore Charters offer, also offers lodging packages and discounts available um, on either Orcas Island, San Juan Island, or Lopez Island. And you can go to the, to the website and see the different properties that are available. And if you're, if you're so inclined, you might take advantage of that and save yourself a fair amount of money on your on your vacation. Uh, if seasickness is a concern, the policy here at North Shore Charters is if the captain feels that the weather is bad enough to make people sick or nervous about being on the water, then they'll cancel the trip. It's not our intention to get anybody seasick or um, have anybody be nervous or afraid. Um, and you know, if the water's really rough, it doesn't make for very good fishing anyway. Um, and another very unique service that we offer is the day trips and one-way transportation between the San Juans and the Canadian destinations that I mentioned earlier. Um, it is the only way to get from Vancouver to the San Juan Islands without uh, driving all the way around and taking the ferries. And it, it's actually a pretty quick and very scenic trip to take. So I'd like to kind of give you an idea of what that would look like if you're wanting to go to, say, Victoria for the day and you're staying on San Juan Island. I, will pick, I would pick you up by boat and transfer you from Friday Harbor. It takes about an hour and a half trip to get over to Victoria where we dock uh, usually right in front of the Empress Hotel, downtown Victoria. Uh, if we leave Friday Harbor at 8.30 in the morning, um, we're there by we're there checked through customs and everything by 10:30 or 11 o'clock, and then you have the entire day to tour around Victoria, go to the Bouchard Gardens, go to the butterfly exhibits, you know, see the IMAX or the Parliament buildings or any of the, the dozens of museums and whatnot that they have, and then we usually depart Victoria between six and seven o'clock in the evening and return back to Friday Harbor in time to clear customs by 8 o'clock in the evening and uh, with plenty of time to still have dinner before they close up the restaurants in Friday Harbor. So it's a, it's a pretty unique trip. Those times aren't set in stone. You're able, to, because it's a private trip, you can choose the times of departure, uh, whatever suits your needs. And the, another, another trip is a very popular trip is to go to Salt Spring Island and visit Ganges, which on Saturday, Ganges has the, very, the largest Saturday market on the West Coast and, and probably anyway, it's just a big, beautiful artisan fair and market that they do every Saturday. And it starts at 10 in the morning and runs till 3.30 in the afternoon. So that's about what time we would arrive there leaving if we left from Orcas Island at uh, 8 in the morning. We get to Ganges by 10. You get to spend all day touring the market. Then we uh, would return to Orcas. Passports are required to make these trips. Um, and that information, I, I need to collect that in advance of making a trip. Um, and then I handle all the customs and border crossing myself. Again, this is Captain Marty with North Shore Charters. All the information that I discussed here and much more can be found on orcasislandadventures.com. There's also lots of links to a great number of resources throughout the San Juan Islands, as well as the Canadian Gulf Islands. Otherwise, feel free to contact me anytime uh, with any questions you might have. Uh, you can email me at marty at orcasislandadventures.com or my phone number is 
three seven six four eight five five.